the f new flare is um, it does replace the the quad and what we've done is we've basically made a baby Maverick so it's a slightly smaller version of the Maverick um, it uses a lot of the same parts as I showed you a bit earlier and um, yeah it's got a we, we're using the same rail mount uh, the gimbal is slightly smaller than the Maverick smaller motors so all in all it's um, you know a, a little version of the Maverick I think what, what we've done from the start is, is create an open drone platform. We, we're not camera specific, we're not payload specific. A lot of our clients aren't flying cameras, they're flying different payloads, you know, sensors and this and that. Um, so that's what we've been trying to do from the start and we've done that really well. So you can buy a flare and you can mount a GoPro 1, you can mount a GoPro 2, you can mount a GoPro 3, you can mount a GoPro 4, uh, you could mount a range of smaller compact cameras. You could literally fly hundreds of different cameras um, on the Flare and the Maverick. I mean that opens up even more the NEX um, larger video cameras. Even small SLRs can be flown on the Maverick. So that's what we've, we've done with both these models is it's an open camera platform. So that's the main reason as well as obviously our rapid deploy airframe. You know the very few airframes you can actually grab Without tools, literally just bend, throw in the backpack, and you know you can actually travel with them practically every day. It's not something you need to set up. You know, the Inspire one is is futuristic looking. It's cool. It should do well because it's DJI. Um, but you know, try to stick that in a backpack and hike up a mountain. It's just it's impossible. <laughs> not impossible. It becomes very impractical in a lot of cases for professionals who use these tools every day. Um, and again, I mean, our clients fly so many different cameras depending on their needs. So you're not um, limited to one camera that might not do what you really wanted to do. So basically, this is the updated uh, two-axis gimbal for the flare. It's slightly different to the one on the quad. Um, this bracket is very similar to the other one, but you'll see there's a whole new um, adjustable uh, pitch bracket. So you could loosen those four, you'll see there's a two carbon fiber plates and then an aluminum bracket. So what that basically does is it allows a, a huge amount of movement and adjustability. So if you're using the waterproof case, if you're using the skeleton casing, you know, there's weight differences and obviously being a brushless gimbal it needs to be balanced perfectly. So it, this allows you to completely adjust the, the GoPro, you know, either back up and down forward um, or back, you know, and also obviously we have the sliding rolls so the, the entire gimbal can adjust just like the Maverick on a larger scale you can adjust the angle of the camera the, the gimbal is completely adjustable uh, and, and the, another note this gimbal also tilts all the way up so you know for roof inspections building inspections um, it's ideal and again another reason we like having a the front mounted gimbal instead of having underneath is it, it just makes it more versatile you can tilt up you can tilt down uh, and get some pretty interesting shots Okay. Yeah, so the we're all new rail system, um, the entire gimbal you'll see is completely isolated from, from the drone itself. And depending on your payload, with a Maverick obviously you have larger cameras, larger payloads, so you can add or remove the vibration dampeners. So it's completely adjustable, you can loosen that and then the entire rail is actually able to slide back and forth. The battery mount can also be loosened and you know, it can slide back and forth depending on your battery weight. So it's a complete um, you know, adjustable brushless gimbal and a lot of people have asked us why we're only doing two axes. Obviously, main reason is you could just yaw your drone for the third axis uh, instead of having a, you know, the third axis and a complicated controller for it. Um, but again, this dampening system really does take, uh, you know, all that third axis wobble out of the shot, which makes the drone simpler and makes it, um, you know, easier to operate.